This thing is still in bloom. I am really surprised. This is the uh, Hoya. It looks like a suction cup. And it does have a nice scent, but it's very, very mild and faint. I'm so impressed how big this is. And they're very hard. Yeah, it's waxy and hard. So cool. And uh, the other Hoya cinnamon folia is forming a second pedicle, so we'll get another one of these neon green ones. These fall apart. These fall apart after like 24 hours, though. So I'm, that's why I'm surprised. I was expecting the uh, suction cup one, suction cup Hoya, to fall apart. And I'm surprised it's still here after days, so that's really cool. And just real quick, my uh, Nepenthe spatulata cross uh, campanulata is once again in bloom. It's a male. And I have nothing to pollinate with. And it's got another bloom spike coming out, but I don't have any female flowers that are currently in bloom, unfortunately. This is Tepelia gigantea, or giant starfish flower. I'm really happy that it's made this big bud and will be opening soon into a giant fleshy colored starfish. And that'll be so cool. And just like with the Amorphophallus, this is going to be a flower that's not going to smell very pleasant. It'll be like uh, rotten flesh and will attract flies and beetles to be the pollinators seems to have a, a bud coming in in the back. I don't know if that'll open up or if the big one is taking all the energy, but hopefully it'll, uh, hopefully it'll make a flower also. But this one, I can't wait to see it open. Okay, I missed the day of the opening. Unfortunately, these flowers only last about 24 hours, maybe a little bit over. It's closing up already, but when it was open, you can still tell how cool this was big starfish this was probably opened all the way back big fleshy flower it's supposed to smell really bad I don't smell anything at all right now but that may be because the uh, pollinators like the flies and the beetles may have already We've already taken everything. All the pollen is gone. But yeah, big, beautiful flower. I'm so glad it opened. And I'm sure it'll have others. September 22nd, 2018. A quick dragon fruit update. I finally got a hold of a Frankie's Red. So it's on the Sully Post right there. The seller told me that it was okay just to plant it. It was already cured, so hopefully it'll take root in a few days, and I hope it'll start making a, a new top, although it looks like the tip is damaged. I don't know if it'll make a, a new sprout. And he was very nice and also gave me a free cutting of American Beauty. So that's the American Beauty right there. And look how big the Bruni has gotten. That is so cool. I think that Bruni is like maybe two feet tall. And then on the other side, the condor is getting tall too. This is looking great. It's not as big as uh, the Bruni, but it's doing well. And then over here are the others. And this one, these unknowns, this one's almost at the top, almost at the top. Very exciting. Can't wait, can't wait. I'm worried about these guys, they got yellow bases. I hope, I don't know if they're dying or what that means. But I hope they'll be okay, but it's, it's doing well. This one's growing. Which is coming out of this one. It's curling around that way and coming up here. So yeah. 
they're doing pretty good. I hope those two new cuttings will root and start to grow fast for me. September 22nd, 2018. Update on my Titans. All 10 of them have come up and this one has opened and yep, now I know that it was definitely a Titan. It's got the five leaves just like, uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, uh, Sig Lao <laughs> told me how he was right. So this is the next oldest one and it looks like a leaf is already coming out of the sheath. And then almost all of these have just broken the surface. Here it is, right there. This is the biggest one out of the second batch. I mean, some of these are just barely right there. Just barely breaking the surface. Yes, I'm pointing at it. That one's visible. This one's really visible. And then these are the two youngest ones. You can't see them their way way inside the deep holes there but they're coming out so yeah I'm really happy with that incubator method I've come up with it's it works really well can't wait for these things to get really big uh, next year when the, uh, they go dormant come back again that's when I'll, I'll know if these are uh, if they're doing all right because I think when you get into your second and third year is when it gets difficult